We've just walked from our hostel to um, the Golden Temple. Go and check it out. There's a man having a bath right next to me. Thank you. I was so excited. Beautiful sunset. This is Josh and I'm Erin. Follow us as we document our adventures around the world. We hope it will inform, inspire and entertain. Welcome back to the beautiful city of Amritsar in northwest India. Last week we explored the city, met some brilliant people and had the most incredible experiences. If you've not already watched last week's episode, then make sure you follow the link at the end of this video. It is one not to be missed. Also, while I've got you guys here, please make sure to subscribe, hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of our future videos. So while we are in Amritsar, we couldn't miss out on a visit to the famous Golden Temple. We actually ended up going three times. That's how good it was. So now we're at the Golden Temple. It's a Gurdwara, which is a Sikh temple, because it's a religious place you have to cover up. So we actually originally came in kind of like longish dresses, which we thought would be okay. We were told it's not okay. You have to have your ankles covered, your shoulders covered, and your head covered. Located in the heart of Amritsar, it is the holiest and most important pilgrimage site of Sikhism and was built as a place of equality, peace and glory. It gets its name from the real gold leaf that the entire temple is covered in and it really is a sight to behold. Um, there's a man having a bath right next to me. Welcome. 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 We'd heard about a kitchen in the temple that served food all day, so we went in search of chapatis and dal, and what we found was phenomenal. So, basically we're in, we're just next to the Golden Temple, and they give, um, they basically give free food all day to about, like a thousand people on a Sunday, I assume it's probably more like two thousand. Um, and they make all this food, we've got a dal, um, some sort of chickpea blended thing, um, like a sweet rice, um, a sweet rice dish, and then some chapatis, and they all just come down with these big buckets and they just refill your plate and hand out your chapatis. It's fantastic, and everyone just sits here and eats together all in a long line. But the food is really good. Very nice. We just finished eating and all the food they give you here is totally free. Um, but you can, if you want to afterwards, help them make it. So volunteer, help them either hand out food, peel garlic, make chapatis, whatever you fancy. So we've been taken to the chapati station and we're going to go make some chapatis. I'm so excited! <laughs> Like that. Like the oh, that's cheating! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> My chapatis are so bad! I don't think mine are any better. Okay, so I really got my numbers wrong before. The Golden Temple is actually the biggest community kitchen in the world and feeds over 100,000 people every single day and up to 200,000 on a Sunday or a religious holiday. That is absolutely insane. This is incredible. I think so the dough gets cut at the start of the machine, it comes all the way along, you have to test, toss through these wheels and like rolling pin out into a chapati shape, then it comes along this conveyor belt and gets cooked basically, and then it comes underneath and goes through the flames, so it gets all char grilled. And this machine makes 7,000 chapatis in an hour. That is crazy. But there's so many that are coming through that have got a bit too much. Just like that, they've got a bit too, bit, bit too char grilled. A community kitchen really is the best way to describe it. The whole place is completely run on volunteers. 
people from near, far, from different religions, countries, backgrounds, races. Everyone's welcome, wherever you're from, whoever you are, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. The temple was built with that in mind and has four entrances facing north, south, east and west. So no matter where you're coming from, you can always come in. Wow, look at this. 500 years ago, a Sikh guru, Guru Nanak, came up with the idea to create a place where people, regardless of their religion or social status, could come together, sit on the ground and eat as equals. And that idea has become one of the most incredible and welcoming places in India. We were told that these ginormous pans hold 700 litres of dal and it takes a team of around 30 people to get the curry from here to the serving hall. Yeah, I really can't express just how welcome, how friendly and how comfortable you feel, not just in this temple, but in the whole of Amritsar. It's, it's just such a nice feeling. Don't get me wrong, like India is a very friendly place, I think on the whole, but there are some places and some people that have made me especially feel very uncomfortable and not so welcome. And here there's just nobody's like that. It's just, especially in this temple, they just welcome everybody. They want to feed everybody, they want to give everyone water, there's some people even sleeping here. And the whole place is completely run on volunteers, um, nobody gets paid, you just donate your time. It's a wonderful thing, the Sikh religion practices that you should be human first before anything else and I think that is such, such a great thing. You're human first over anything else and that really resonates here. It's, it's a beautiful place to be. I really like it. Beautiful sunset. I know I've said it a lot since we arrived here, but the people in Amritsar really are the friendliest and most welcoming community of people we have ever come across. It's definitely somewhere to put on your bucket list if it isn't there already. Next week, we're heading into the big city for the arrival of my traveling bestie, Peggy, and we're hitting the famous Golden Triangle. Thanks so much for tuning in once again, and I hope you're enjoying watching us explore these amazing places. Please subscribe, share, and let us know what you think in the comments below. See you guys next time.